Hello! It's time again to talk about things and whatnot. Today we're gonna have it about the Pokemon Company. So, in case if you don't know, Pokemon hosts these official events for Pokemon VGC and TCG. VGC video game, TCG, the trading card game. Now these events, these are hosted by yours truly, because I'm too, I'm a professor. Uh, and we have to kind of talk about what happened. You, in 2022, they decided to resume back with the official tournaments, which is great, which is what we've been waiting for, because of a two year hiatus, uh, it's been a long time. Now they did announce that no local events were allowed. Which also makes sense because, can you trust people? Kinda hard. I get it. I get it. I truly, I'm in your corner. I truly get it. So they said only regionals and uh, internationals. What are regionals and internationals? You gotta imagine, not a local scene. It's like an actual big tournament where a lot of people can go and play against international people or like people from other countries, etc, etc. So like the level is a little bit higher there. And you're supposed to get your points from that. Now every year you're supposed to get a set amount of points and with these points you can go to Pokemon Worlds. You can get these points by winning or placing high in a Pokemon event. So no lo no locals makes it already a bit harder so that means you only have regionals left. And now because the season stopped midway through from two years ago a lot of people have points but not enough. Yet. So what happens now is kind of a hard mode for people to try and get their points, their remaining points. But yeah, I went to Liverpool Regionals not even two days ago and it, well, I had a blast. I had fun, I didn't get any points, uh, I went 5-4, and four. I played a Duraludon deck, it was very fun though, but didn't win. <laughs> but that doesn't matter because I didn't have any points for TCG anyway and like I go mainly for fun because I like it. But. Liverpool themselves, the inscriptions, uh, they announced when they, the tickets will go live so you can buy a ticket to get in. Because of course, there's a limited amount of people that can go inside because of COVID restrictions. Which makes sense, they still want to uphold those. So yeah, set date, set time, you buy tickets, you have them, great. Uh, those people that don't have them, I'm sorry. It was kind of weird because the tickets were sold out in less than two minutes twice. Which is kind of crazy. Uh, but luckily I did get in and I enjoyed it. Now, uh, the event itself was fine, but like, there's a few, few, like, few little hiccups. There are a few little hiccups. Um, so, my first thing that I want to mention is, the first hiccup was probably the event itself. Uh, you had to pay 60, like, you don't see it here, but like, it was 60 euros. So that's 15 more than the last recorded event that we've had. It's also 50 more than the European International Championship. This is a regional and the international championship is a little bit higher because, you know, international people, everyone from the world, America, Japan, all of them are coming, you know? Um, so yeah, first, first thing you'd be taking is, wow, okay, that's a bit steep, but like COVID, I get it, yeah. Wow, we don't want that to happen. Uh, we, we still want to have events, okay, we'll pay a bit more. Uh, so Masters paid 60, Cena's 45, and Junior's I think 30. Okay, so, you know, every, everyone went up. It went up for everyone. Kinda sucks. Now, for TCG, you get a long box, a playmat, a promo card, side event vouchers, hand sanitizer, face mag, disaffected one. That's great, that's, that's superb. I love that. Okay, we get some stuff as well, that's good. Uh, so five events, high, uh, vouchers, so that means 55 uh, pounds left. Then playmat, let's say 20, just, it's o probably over it, but like, let's say 20, it's still 35. All right, 35 for the rest of that, that sounds, okay. Yeah, a bit steep, but you know, you know, we want events. Yeah, you get, we get these, we get the box, which is nice. I can keep my cards in it, you know, my extra bulk, I don't need. Look at that, first card, Skitty, um, which is nice. Now, usually, TCG, uh, the TCG people have been served well with the playmat as well, and the long box also fine because they have it imprinted. It's good to it's good to use, and it's helpful. BGC got string bag. Now, if you Google string bag, let's take a look. If you Google it, if you Google string bag, right? What do you think you get? Yeah, that's right. You get a string bag. Logically, right? 
That's how it should work. Wait, why else would it be anything else? Schmont, you're full of riddles. What are you seeing? You got a paperback. I'm not even joking. They got a paperback. Like a straight up paperback. Like you could have ordered food and gotten, the, you got your food in that. Which is kind of crazy. I'll be seeing. I, I'm, I think it's kind of crazy. Alright, so like, pretty steep. Okay. Whatever, you got a paper bag. Okay, but we, we get a spe we get a face mag mask. So that means there has to be something special with our mask, right? Nope. Oh, just a regular face mask. It's just a face mask. A blue one. In these packs. Uh, and everyone gets one. Probably out of a packet out of a hundred. We get one of them. Oh great. So honestly, be crazy. Put it well in his tweet here. Uh, it sucks. It it can like there were a few holes in it, and it kind of sucked. So we were like, okay, this is unfortunate. A lot of shit were going up uh, against them. Okay, but like this is this is they gotta get into it. They gotta get into uh, the event, the organizing, everything. There was also no stream, which was kind of sad because honestly, we were bored out of our minds. Sometimes, like we like to watch things. It, there's a reason like it's kind of a shame if a lot of people internationally fly over and they you get they get to play but you don't get to see what they're doing in their place so you don't get to learn what they're doing because yeah no stream or like no way to go like you you're not allowed to crowd around them because it's too distracting as well so yeah easily uh solvable problem yes stream that's it and honestly i feel like they could have done that yeah, that's me. That's just me. Ah, but now we've come to the new thing. So, here they announced at March 22nd, they announced a brand new week means news fresh news. We're gonna we're gonna tell you when EUYC registration is open. This was before Liverpool and we were all stressed out. Oh god, as long as they don't release it right as Liverpool is going, it's fine, right? It's fine. Um, yeah, so we were all happy about that and we people even asked, can you let us know when it go live since they sell out in 10 seconds, please. Which is honestly freaking fair. Because let's be honest, you want to have tickets, everyone wants them. And it's international, so big, bigger than regional. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. Now you can already hear me say this, but they didn't announce it. Nothing. Nada. The only reason why I got a ticket is because I'm alone on Twitter, which is not good on my end, but like I, I was able to warn my friends and they had to sign up. I was like, I ring the alarm bells. And I'm like, ah! But the shittiest thing is uh, the shadow releases. So they didn't announce it. The tickets were just open suddenly. And the worst thing, like, well, it just feels super bad, honestly. Because a lot of people didn't get in because at the hour of the, at the time when they posted this as well, it was like in the middle of the working day for uh, Europeans, most of them. For Americans, it was dead in the morning. And for Australians, it was dead at night. It was not a good moment for anyone. It generally wasn't. And with no warning, a lot of people weren't able to buy a ticket. Now, all right. So this also got other stuff. Like a lot of people like complaining about the EUYC, of course. We have actually recently a new opening as well, because all the tickets are sold out, of course. Um, and there are no plans to add any new ones, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry for those that didn't get a ticket. I'm sorry for... Let's just say it, the incompetence of like releasing the schedule of when you can register. It. The thing is, they released it on Monday as well, the Monday after the Liverpool Regionals. They were most people, not many, but like more, like a lot of them, are traveling back home from Liverpool by trade or by plane. So we had people buying their tickets on planes. We had people buying their tickets right as they landed or right before they landed, which is crazy. Cause like, you have to be quick about this as well. Cause like you, you see that this is released, you gotta go. You gotta go man, because the tickets will sell out super fast. So that was terrible. And then for some reason, Pokemon decided 10 hours later to tweet out that you can sign up right now. But it's not for the masters, not for the people, like the the main focus group, the the like oldest, like the major group of people. Seniors and juniors can still sign up. The rest of you, fuck off. And that's just sad. I'm I'm like, I love Pokemon. 
and like I feel like this is this is a failing system because if you want to go back into competitive uh, 2022 was already hard mode but if you're shadow releasing stuff that's just terrible let's be honest like who does that uh so like Billa actually had made a freaking poll as well to ask people what they would prefer because like you um what you would prefer and speedrun regional has sp said speed date lottery system but everyone agrees shadow drop was the worst fucking way I'm pretty sure even people that have voted on it, you don't want to get shadow dropped. If that happens to you, you you think it sucks. Like those people, these are the people that have gotten it by pure luck. It could have been a two at night for you as well, and you couldn't have gotten any. So like, I think that's a shit system. And look at this: Bilbao announced 24th of March when they were gonna open their regional registration. Yeah, that's it. They announced it. So, like, it's kind of weird. <sighs> I think could have done better. That's just it. I love Pokemon. I do. And, like, I, I encourage people to get into competitive. Like, it is fun. But you're making it really hard for the people to keep playing. Like, the people who already had points and, like, want to make their points or, like, new people to join as well. Like, they don't know. If you don't announce it, they won't know. Which is unfortunate. So I hope, I hope it gets fixed, because a few of these holes should be fixed. And I can, I can understand a lot. Like, don't get me wrong, like, I COVID restrictions and everything. I get that, I get that. I, like, it's not easy just to go back to how it was. But, organization-wise, it could have been better. That's all I'm saying. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you don't agree with me, that's also fine. But... I wanted to talk about it. I felt like talking about it. That's it. Oh yeah, and I'm also signed up for EUIC, so if anyone's going there, meet you there.